and loyal like the baby boomers. We must check for loopholes like the Generation X. We must see some benefits like the Zennial generation. We must ask why, like the millennials. We must use the technology from the Generation Z and teach communication and patience to the alphas. God created us all to live in the same time and in the same space so that we can all build the kingdom. We have to go to work. I pray that these words made you think. I pray that these words made you look again. I pray that these words made you think of your conversations. So many of the conversations with the saints, they were like, it feels like there's a whole group of generation that we don't have. It's laying on the saints' hearts. All of those conversations I had last week, they were talking about the vaccines and things like that on the news and they said it seems like there's a generation that is not trusting this. It's everywhere, y'all. It always has to start with the church. It is not doing you any good. Some of us need to release people from some offenses. We need to just release it. It's not doing you any good, let it go. If you need to have a conversation with somebody, have the conversation. I've been there. After a service, I had to go home one time and call somebody to get it straight. It's not worth it. It's not, you're exhausted fighting this unnecessary battle. There may be one today. No, I know there's one. I know there's one who found themselves in the word today because every time I tried to change what I wanted to speak on, the Lord wouldn't let me go another way. Nobody wants to talk about the elephant in the room, but it must be dismantled. God, we're sorry. Any way that we misrepresented you, please forgive us. And I mean that from the depths of my soul. God, we do not want to lose a generation because of our actions toward them or you. Forgive us so that we can look on our sons and daughters and we can build the kingdom together, working together for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us all stand. Come on, everybody say, no, I will not leave you alone. Say it again. No, I will not leave you alone. While we're standing, if there's one that desires prayer, we would ask that you would come at this time. Come on. If you're sick, or and I know that the word hit you, because it hit me as Deaconess Gibson brought us the bread of life today. She said she couldn't change the word if she wanted to. I will not. When you see me riding around this neighborhood, I'm on a mission from God. I'm helping people. Right now, I'm giving away backpacks to kids and families, and praying with people and inviting them to church. I will not, because whenever I stand before the Lord, I want to hear the Lord say, well done. Thy good and faithful servant. It's more than just me, my wife, and my children. We got to get that. We got to get that. That's why churches are closing up, because it's more than just about me and my family. And what I have found out is whenever I go out into ministry in the neighborhoods, and I do it intentionally, I do it on purpose. 
God blesses me. I meet families. I take pictures. I want to smile with the kids. I'm giving them something. Pastor, why are you doing that here? Because I'm going to hear the Lord say, well done. We got to dismantle the elephant in the room. In our families, there's elephants in the rooms. On our jobs, there's elephants in the rooms. Pastor, how do you dismantle that elephant? By prayer, fasting, Go get it, supplication, Go get it. saying, I'm sorry. Lord, forgive me. People will die and go to hell because they won't say, Lord, forgive me. He says that whenever we reach out to him with a clean heart, look at baby is brushing it in there. Your heart's got to be pure whenever you talk to us. Is there another? I feel the Lord telling me to wait. He's telling me to wait. Listen, don't let this moment pass you by. There's a spirit of release in this room. There's a spirit of breakthrough in this house. There's a spirit of being set free. I don't care how long you've been burdened. This is your day of release. This is your day of salvation. Understanding the times. Pastor, why won't you just leave me alone? I can't. I ain't got to say a word to you. Hey, there was the um, A flat. Times I'm in my office. A flat. A flat. The Holy Ghost will say, pray for, pray for such and so and so. Pray for Sister Rhonda. Pray for Minister Young. Pray for Sister Latoya. Pray for this one and that one. All I gotta do is tap in in prayer. That devil saying, leave me alone, leave me alone. I can't. I love you to life. I love you to life. I rebuke death over your family. I speak healing over your children. All oh, while you mad at me, I don't care. I'm speaking life to you. I'm speaking life to your family. And I'm telling you, be healed, be delivered, and be set free by the power of God. Now, Lord, as we pray, for those that have come today, these beautiful ladies, these beautiful families, God, I'm praying today that there will be a quickening spirit that flows through these houses. The very thing that they're asked, the heaviest weight on their heart. As they pray, Lord, today at this altar, because of the spoken word, God, because these women have continually travailed over their situation, God, you're going to bless them and you're going to do it that right early. So, God, we're going to release it to you. We're going to turn it over into your hands. We're going to turn it over to your care because of the spoken word we heard today. Now, if you believe that today, I want you to clap your hands. Come on, clap them. Come on, ladies, clap them. Like God already did a release. Come on, somebody say release, 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 release. Release, 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 release. Release, 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 release. Let it go. Let God work it out.
am sinful, but I thank God for the fullness. I thank God for what he has done for me. I thank God for You ever see them TikToks where it's the dude and he's like, my dad be, er, my mom be beating up my dad. And then he just jumps in a bowl or something. It's like that's how kids be. Sunday school classes. We thank God to us, to our, to my assistants. 